you dare come after me for engaging in drama? Drama is for fun. You know what else is fun, John? Ponage. So where do I begin? Perhaps a little background is in order first. As some of you may have heard, Remember the Diamonds recently had some rather sensitive information released about her. I'm not going to go into all the details about that because I'm sure you probably know them. In light of this, however, it seems our new friend John Paul Dorn here has decided to stand up for her. And now, apparently in John's world, this involves pissing off everybody else who was trying to comfort her. Now, John... I was going to come on here and tell you to fuck off, but apparently, uh, this sort of thing is really far from out of the ordinary for you, isn't it, John? You said in one comment on my last video that you are well known for engaging in drama, and you weren't lying, were you? I mean, I pulled up some old videos about you, and what it seems like is that you keep going from drama to drama, just inserting yourself into these things that have nothing to do with you, I guess, because this is your way of getting attention, maybe to build your subscriber base. I mean, because let's face it here, your videos about the issues and current world events are fucking unwatchable. I guess the only thing you're any good at is being an online ambulance chaser. And really, the most pathetic part of all of this shit is that you always delete these drama videos that you do. Honestly, why do you do that, John? You try to cover your mistakes or something? I mean, because once you post something on the internet, it can stay there forever. And I'm afraid that, um, that is going to be the case in regards to your video that you called White Knight. I chose that one specifically because it is one of the funniest mistakes I've ever seen on YouTube. I mean, we can hear your daughter in the background. How do you let that get uploaded? If, I, if that happened to me, if I was in your position, I would start the video over again. Maybe next time you'll think about doing the same, because that video's on my hard drive now, where it will stay for safekeeping. Now, John, I wonder, what if one day, years from now, your daughter came across that video? You think she'd like it? You think she'd like the idea of having a cameo appearance in one of your petty bullshit online drama videos? Does that type of drama seem like fun to you? Perhaps you should consider these questions next time you decide to pull this type of shit. But anyway, I think I'm done fucking around with you for a while. This is LCO, over and out. Okay, I'm gonna do a little clarification of this video because after I posted it, a bunch of paranoid, literal-minded fucktarts started really chimping out about it, having completely misinterpreted my intentions. So let me start off by saying that I stand by everything I said in that video, bar none, because the point of that video was not to attack John Paul Dorn through his kids. Quite the opposite, in fact, it was to pwn him for being irresponsible. So what do I mean by that? Well, as we all know, YouTube can be a very dangerous place at times, what with all the dock dropping lately, and it's definitely not the kind of place where you want to bring your kids. And while I personally would never seriously attack anyone's kids to get to them, there is no shortage of people on here who would. I never uploaded the video that I was talking about, nor did I ever intend to, but what if I wasn't the one who got a hold of it? What if it was just some anonymous troll who got a hold of it? Think anything would stop him? I mean, there's really nothing anybody can do about that type of shit, so if you're a parent, then the responsible thing to do is to not even mention that you have kids, because if you do, people will attack them. Just ask Brett Keen. When my mother passed away, from committing suicide. It wasn't very long after where my daughter was born into the world, and it was found that she suffered from meningitis, which then resulted in a condition called hydrocephalus, which is water in the brain. I then received an email from someone who used the name Fake Sagan, well, not Fake Sagan, Hard Case Owns at Hotmail.com. I assumed right away that it was actually Fake Sagan trying to get in contact with me. Whenever I read the email, it said that my daughter has a balloon head. You see, at the time, not only was I doing videos about atheism, but I was also doing videos where I was showing my family, pictures of my family and all that, because YouTube at the time was still 
like a family site where people would show off their family and all that kind of stuff. I ended up making myself look like a dumbass because I ended up responding to the email through video publicly on YouTube stating what kind of person are you to sit there and make fun of my child like that and insult her whenever she has the condition that she does. Now, Fake Sagan, he made it clear on video that he did not send me any kind of email or do anything like that. So I had a disturbing situation where it appeared as though I was accusing someone of something that they did not do. And still today, I don't know if it was actually from Fake Sagan or someone else who was trying to stir some shit between us. It wasn't long before somebody sent me a website in my inbox with a website. Uh, I'm not going to sit there and give the atheist website name. But basically, the website had tons and tons of pictures of my kids and my family and Judalicious's troll videos and stuff about the whole pedophilia accusations, plagiarism, all that shit. I decided that I needed to contact the company that was allowing this kind of travesty to go on their server. I contacted the company, and they said that they are not legally binded to do anything about it. And I told them, look, your fucking website, a server that you're allowing a customer, is posting pictures of my kids and my family and putting all kinds of slanderous accusations on it. They wouldn't do anything about it. So what I decided to do was post a video up publicly on YouTube stating that this company is fucking allowing this kind of crap to go on. And I put the company's name and phone number into my video and told people that they need to contact this company and let them know that this is fucking bullshit and that atheist won't stand by an atheist being attacked like this in his personal life. Well, what ended up happening was several people flagged my video and accused me of dropping someone's docs. They claimed that I dropped somebody's personal information and that I was trying to get a YouTuber hurt or something, when that wasn't the case at all. I would have never dropped docs. I would have never dropped anybody's personal information, and I never wanted to hurt anyone. I just wanted the goddamn website to be stopped. I wanted the server to be stopped. I wanted my kid's picture and my family off of the fucking page. But for the longest time, this is the bullshit that's going around YouTube, them claiming that I am a doc dropper and all this shit, when it was actually the fucking trolls who were dropping my goddamn address and phone number all over the place. So let's talk a little bit about what it is that I'm doing now that I'm not on YouTube that I don't really want to do YouTube anymore. A lot of you are going to be like, you don't want to do YouTube? No, I don't want to do YouTube in the sense where I talk about atheism all the time. And I know a lot of you don't like that. You want me to continue to do videos where I dismantle religion and do the kind of shit I do. But ironically, the very thing that I am sitting there standing up against and all the bullshit that's going on is also the same thing that keeps me from being partner. It also causes my account to be under constant attack and nonsense. I just don't want it anymore. I would like to do videos where I have fun with my kids. I would like to do videos where I'm having fun with my family. He can't, though. Can he? I mean, YouTube just really isn't a safe place for it. And unfortunately, the same can kind of be said about the Internet at large. It's sad, but it's true.